What is going on guys? Jack here and welcome to episode 34 of the Rise to Glory here with Gibraltar Apex and today I've got for you guys a live comp double header. It's the end of the season. We have two cup finals to wrap off what's been season 5 here at the Apex and to be honest it's been a pretty good year all in all. First and foremost we'll just have a look at a few results since the semi-final of the Rock Cup which was last episode. Two pretty convincing wins. We beat Lynx 4-2 and then we beat Glasses 3-1. I don't want to dwell on those results too much because as you guys know we'd already secured the title at that point and so it was all a bit arbitrary and those games just simply put didn't matter. Anyway, going into today's game, a uh, bit of injury news. Ben Connolly is going to make the bench today. He's not fully fit for five days. He might be back for the final against Lincoln, um, which will be coming in later on in this episode. It's in, I believe, nine days from now. Yes, yeah, so it's on the 6th, uh, or oh, sorry, the 1st of the 6th, the 1st of June. Uh, so we'll have nine days until that other final, so we might have time for him to recover. Um, but yeah, there is more injury news on the horizon, and that is that Jack Peachman is out for three to four weeks with a twisted ankle. As a result, I only have Joe Murray of my kind of real first-choice strikers fit and ready for this game. And uh, as a result, we are going to be lining up with a 4-2-3-1 to facilitate the fact that we only have really one fit striker. So this is the system we're going to play today. It is the way Takari 4-2-3-1, a formation we have fallen upon uh, a number of times during this save. In terms of how we're lining up, it's Felix in goal, Gilbert, Guerrero, Roberts and Morgan. Pretty much the standard back five we've, ha we've had throughout this se season. In the centre mids, we're going to go with Tristan Sargent, a player who perhaps hasn't played as much first team football this year as you might expect, particularly in cup competitions. I now look at it, he's still played a lot of football for us, but he has had his slowest season since his first ever year at the club in the Seguda division. Anyway, alongside him we go with Gary Tano, uh, who is of course a very good player. Um, he's still improving this guy. He's 15, he's played 7 games for us, an 8.06 average rating, showing great maturity. We're going to stick him at deep line playmaker, definitely the best creative player in the side. Out on the left we go with Leon O'Connor, he is fit and raring to go for this game. He was suspended for the previous match, the last game of the season that we had. Out on the right we have Lee Robson, who actually has declined a little bit of late. Of course, he has had a few injuries through this year. He's back, though. He's been getting a good little run of games, and hopefully he can put in another good performance today out on the right-hand side. Uh, attacking mid for us, we go with Andy Sutton, a player who fairly frequently this year has played the kind of defensive centre mid role for us. But he is a good player. He is pretty capable of playing this advanced playmaker and kind of attacking midfielder role we're going to be playing him in. It's not so much of a playmaker, I guess, with a deep line playmaker behind him. Uh, but as the kind of attacking midfielder on attack, he's going to kind of be the link-up man for a lot of our play into the final third. And then last but not least, we go with John Murray up front for today's game. So today, we are taking on College Europa. This year, we did pretty well against College Europa. They have been a bogey team, as I've said a number of times throughout this save. However, um, this year, we did really get one over on them. We didn't slip up to them. I don't think we dropped any points to them. Uh, they themselves, I think, have finished outside of the European Cup spot. So this is a... Uh, a kind of a nice game for them to try and win, of course. You don't actually get anything from this, the Gibraltarian Senior Cup or the Gibraltar Senior Cup. It's um, not a competition which gives you any kind of continental qualification. But at the same time, they're probably going to, going to want to win it. They're going to want to get some silverware, and we are going to stand in their way. So we'll see how we get on here. Murray on the attack. Could we have a chance from kickoff? No, we cannot. The linesman raises flag, denies us the opportunity. Ball in all, a good start here, really. Looking at the possession, 60%. It's pretty unusual that we dominate the ball like that, but we need to make something of it. Playing this 4-2-3-1, I do feel like we're a little bit more susceptible to be kind of conceding with this system. Oh, great. And Andy Sutton picks up a knock. It's probably not worth keeping him on, to be honest. We'll bring on Anthony Hernandez, a player who, for a number of years, Hernandez has just been a superb player for us. He's been top class. You know, he's played out on the right. He's played centre mid. With a lot of our younger, kind of more talented midfielders coming up through the ranks, they've kind of forced him out the side a little bit, but he's still an absolutely superb player to have in the squad just because of how versatile he is. And he's a very good player to have coming on off the bench. The fact he can play on either wing, the fact he can play centre mid, the fact he can play central attacking mid, just the perfect player to have on the bench. And we might have a chance here. Murray dispossessed, however, but we might still come on the attack here. Gary Tano can't get to it, but Tristan Sargent can. O'Connor down the left-hand side. Can he whip in a ball? There's options in the middle. Tries to cross it. Can't beat the first man, but Gary Tano's there. Glenn Gilbert, you can whip in a cross most. And he whips it in, headed away, only as far as Robson. Now with Gary Tano, who gives away the ball. And wow, Roberts has just gone flying. And he is going to be sent off. And we are down a man. 
here in the final. This is not this is not what I wanted. This is not what I needed. Um, what do I want to do here? I don't really want to take Hernandez off, but part of me says take him off now. He's only just come onto the pitch. Um, I could take off Robson. Robson's only on 81% conditions. It probably makes sense to drop him, to be honest. In terms of how we're going to play, we're going to have to play a little bit more conservative here. We'll bring in uh, Bonavia. I think, yeah, Bonavia will come in at centre-back. Guerrero, please don't get sent off now. This is going to be a really tricky game all of a sudden. Um, but we're going to have to do our best if we want to get something from this game anyway. There's just a bit more pressure on us now, I guess. So down a man. We don't want to lose to these guys, but we've just made our task a whole lot harder in this final. We're going to try and play kind of a 4-4-1 and try and use our quality to hopefully convert one or two of the fishes that we have. But they can they score immediately. Although it's given offside, Cambreira. I I what? Oh, handball. Okay, that's an odd thing to be disallowed for. But he punched the ball into the net. Apparently, I'm going to tell the players I'm not happy with the performance. Adam Roberts has completely let us down here in this final. We want to win all the silver where we can. We want to do back to back quadruples. We want to really kind of, I guess, officially stamp this club and this era in Gibraltar as kind of the apex era, the years where we just win absolutely anything. And if we lose this. Well, it, it calls into question everything, I feel like. I want to win every competition. But we are down a man here. Looking at the stats, we are still playing very, very well despite being down a man, which is pleasing. But we need a goal. Neither team has had a clear-cut chance this game. I do think in going and man down, um, we've kind of limited our attacking capabilities. We've still got very talented players capable of just scoring something out of nothing. But we certainly aren't going to create the same amount of chances that we otherwise would have with 11 men on the pitch. Adam Roberts really, really has let us down here. There's 18 minutes left of regular time. Guerrero is really struggling. Part of me wants to just bring on Reyes for Guerrero, but it is our third sub. I'm going to do it just because Guerrero is really struggling. 63% condition. I can't afford to have tired centre-back, so that is the change we're going to make. Reyes, not the best player in the air. One of the reasons I don't like to play him as a centre-back, but he's going to have to do a job for us here. It's the 88th minute. There might be a late chance here. Morgan whips in. Can Murray get there? He can't. Cleared away. But Gary Tano shoots. Osborne holds on to it. And Osborne with a nice save there, to be honest. But there is not a lot of time left in this game. If a team scores now, it's probably going to be the winner. And College Europa on the attack. Duarte goes out wide to ping. Don't give away a penalty, O'Connor. Whatever you do. Duarte, oh my gosh, he's just scored a screamer. He has just scored an absolute wonder goal here in the 89th minute. I can't believe what I've just seen. That was insane. Is that their right back? Wow. I mean, what? I, all I can really do is shrug my shoulders. Their right back has hit it first time and just scored an absolute thunder bastard. Oh, dear. <laughs> wow. That is not what I expected to happen, if I'm honest. I guess we've got to just commit as many men forward as we can here now in hopes of getting a late goal. So that is exactly what we are going to do. Um, wow, I've just got to I've just got to throw men forward, haven't I? We've got to we've got to play it fast. We've got to go route one. Uh, play narrow. I mean, there's no real time here. It's just a case of throwing men forward and hoping that we can get something to happen. Um, let's change to fullbacks on attack. I mean, well, we've really screwed ourselves with the sending off. And it looks like we are going to lose a cup final here, which is really unexpected, if I'm honest, and really, really disappointing. Unfortunately, as well, we've used all our subs, so we've not really got any options there either. Right. I guess this is the system that we are going to go with. We're going to play with a 4-1-3-1. Very, very traditional. We need a goal. We need a goal here, if we can get one, please. There's two minutes left. Two minutes to make something happen. Gary Tano up to Murray. Murray now has no one in the middle. I mean, if he can pick out a pass, that would be incredible. He's not going to be able to. Time ticking away here. 15 seconds left. We've lost a cup final. I don't want to blame it on that red card, but that red card has completely screwed us over here. It's a game where, looking at the stats, we've actually done okay. But unfortunately for us, College Europa win with a wonder goal. I can't argue with it. I'm going to tell the players they were unlucky. They've really just been let down by one player on the team there, and that is... That's frustrating. That that's I can't even I can't put it into words. That is just I don't know. I'm going to find him two weeks' wages because he got sent off in the final. I hope he isn't going to be too pissed off about that. He deserves to be suspended from the, from the rest of the season. Really, the rest of the season's one game. But I don't want to see him play again. 
He feels the fight was unfair. I don't give a damn, son. You've just lost us a cup final. I mean, granted, the absolute wonder goal has lost us it, really. But at the same time, it's disappointing that we went down a man. Anyway, guys, I'll join you guys in a second. We've got Lincoln Redimps for the second game. It's in nine days' time. We're going to sim forward. I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so it's now June the 1st. It's time for our last game of the season. We're taking on Lincoln Redimps. I'm hoping for a better performance than last time out. That cup final was something else. That goal that lost us it, I mean, I can only applaud it, really. It was an insane goal. Uh, today, yeah, Lincoln Redimps are the task ahead. Of course, a team who struggled last year. Where did they end up finishing in the league? Where did, oh, okay. Premier uh, playoff. So they came second. They Phoenix beat them. Wow, okay. That surprises me. Phoenix, a team who haven't been promoted before, making their way into the Premier Division next year. And Lincoln finished second. So they got in the playoff and they actually lost. Wow. Hound Dogs maintaining their position. Fair play to them. It looks like it wasn't a particularly great game. But um, yeah, the Premier Division is going to only have one change this year. For the last few years, I think the playoff um, winner has been the Singuda Division team. So that's kind of interesting. Of course, we now want to inflict further misery, if possible. We're taking on Lincoln Redimps to finish the year. Um, we have a fairly good record against them. You can see here, I think we've won seven of eight matches, just judging by this bar chart. Um, so we have a good record going against them here, and I'm hoping we can get a good result. In terms of the team for today's game, Connolly is back fit, kind of. He has 90% condition, or sorry, 94% condition, 60% match sharpness. I think we've got a chance in, really. Um, I'm going to stick Legia on the bench just so we have a backup striker because with that 60% match condition we might have to rotate it. Elsewhere in the team um, we have got a few other injuries. Uh, Gary Tano is out injured for three to six days with a stubbed toe. Andy Sutton is out injured with a calf strain so we are a little bit depleted in the centre of midfield. We have still got a fairly strong team though. Um, reverting back to the 4-4-2, the back four is largely the same. Um, the only change there is Adam Roberts, who was suspended, of course, for getting sent off, uh, bows out, and Bonavia comes into the squad for today's game at centre-back. Uh, in the midfield, Sargent and Hernandez are going to be the players who we deploy there. Tristan Sargent and Hernandez, two players who have been at the club for quite a while now. I'm hoping that they can uh, give us a good performance here. Uh, in this cup final when we need them to. O'Connor and Robson out wider there. Murray and Connolly playing together for the first time, I do believe. I don't think these guys have ever played alongside each other because of the injury to Connolly. So hopefully they can gel quickly as a pairing up front. Looking at it, we are pretty heavy favourites going into this game. But of course, Lincoln Redimps, to get this far, they've had to punch way above their weight. They've had to beat teams in the Premier Division. And, well, after our last game, I just want to win some silverware. I'm so annoyed that we've lost the Gibraltarian Senior League Cup. I mean, of all the competitions, it's probably the one that I'm the most happy to lose. It's the one the board care about the least and, like, they don't really value it. Um, but if we were to lose this game in the Rock Cup as well, that would be a tragedy, really, to put it simply. It just would be awful. It just would be inexcusable. We want to win the Rock Cup for a second year in a row. We want to complete a treble this year of the Pepe Reyes Cup, their Premier Division, and this competition. And it kind of starts here, hopefully, although Gonzalez, big ball over the top for them, going to go round the keeper as well. And Lincoln Redimps go for the smash and grab. Jason Gonzalez getting the first goal. Worth noting, of course, and I assume this is still the case, but the Lincoln Redimps manager is our former centre-back, Lee Fenley. I mean, Lee, I, I, I'm not appreciative of this, my friend. Let's just take a look. Is he still in charge? He is. Please stop it, Lee. Please. Whenever, whenever we sign players from um, Lincoln, it's always quite amusing because I get a news item saying that Fenley was happy to sell them the player to us because like, we're his best friends in the world, which is kind of nice. We've just missed a clear-cut chance there. I guess we really would be his best friend in the world if we let them uh, win this game and somehow they got European football. But we don't want to let them win. We want to win here. Look at the average ratings. That's centre-backs. They've not had the best start, and that is an awful first half. Show a bit of desire, boys. Where is the passion? Where is the love? Come on. They've had three shots. They've scored one goal. We we need to show some killer, killer touch, uh, an edge to kind of, I guess, that we've not shown in this live comp. To lose both games in the finals would be just... I couldn't even describe it. It would be absolutely outrageous. Let's make some changes here. Uh, we're going to move, I think, both our men up into winger positions. I think we'll stick with Hernandez as a deep line playmaker on support for, for now. But we are just going to commit a few male men forward. But time is ticking away here. 
and nothing is changing. We've got to do something here. I'm going to change both these guys to attack. Where are we struggling? Everywhere is the simple answer here. Um, I can't really change too much either because of the issues we've got with the squad. Uh, Hernandez is struggling quite a lot, so we're going to bring in Neil Dixon to play there. The 16-year-old, he's not played many games for us. He's not a bad little playmaker, potentially, but he's going to have to really show up in this game big time. Right, so we'll get him in. Um, do I want to make any more changes? I don't think I do at the moment. Connolly is really struggling, but I need to gamble with him. Laguia just even a fully fit Laguia is no better than Connolly is, so we'll stick with what we've got here. But 10 minutes left... Five minutes left. I mean, what can you say? Time is just of the essence here. We've got to, we've got to change it. We've got to go on the hunt. We've got to go more direct. Oh, this is awful. This is gonna. This could be one of the worst live comms I've done on this save. I mean, it's kind of nice, I guess, to get a little bit of a reality check. I guess you could argue, but at the same time, we don't, we don't want to lose here. So we're going to commit some men forward. Five minutes to make a difference. Time is just ticking away. Two minutes left. It's all over. We've lost both finals here, 1-0. Both games, we've kind of been FM'd, especially this game. That was an awful performance. We just didn't turn up for that game. We've lost in that final. Lincoln Redhams will get European football next year, and I'm a little bit upset about that. That is absolutely atrocious. Absolutely awful. I, 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 I'm not happy about that at all. That was terrible. I don't really know what to say. That is That's just an inexcusable result there. The end of season awards, we'll take a look at these real quick. Leon O'Connor got man of the uh, goal of the season. I have a feeling I know what goal this is. If it, I think it will get passed shortly inside and then he hits it on his right foot, which is his weaker foot into the far right-hand corner. We'll take a look. Oh yeah, this is the goal. So Murray lays it off to him. Watch this finish by Leon O'Connor. Weak foot, bang. Pick that out. That was the goal of the year. What else have we got going on here? Fans Player of the Year, Jack Peachman winning that award. Signing of the Year, John Murray. Young Player of the Season, Peachman. In terms of our overall season review, um, we were expected to make much of the Premier Division title running and we lived up to the billing. Well, that's good, isn't it? Uh, highlight of the season was a 6-1 win against Manchester 62, which we did live come, of course. Um, all in all, pretty happy with how we did. Really disappointing, I guess, to lose both those cup finals. In the end, we only won the Pepe Reyes Cup in the Premier Division, but at the same time, it's not too bad. The end-of-season team meeting will tell the players we want to win the title again. And um, hopefully, hopefully they will react well, and they will. Excellent stuff there. End-of-season, board are pretty happy with the finances, where the club stature is. Um, yearly training summary. Um, standard stuff, really. Uh, season, pre-season, we need it to start with six weeks so our players can be as fit as possible for the kind of European qualifiers we're going to have coming up. But all in all, that is kind of a live come to forget, isn't it? I mean, that's awful. To lose both games 1-0 like that, I mean, it's a reality check, I guess, to some extent. We're not the, the big boys that have been bigging us up to be just yet. Unfortunately, we still can't request professional status. I guess that is something we will do after next year's European qualifying campaign. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up everything from me. Thank you so much for watching, as always. If you have enjoyed, smash the like button. If you've got any comments, leave them down below. And other than that, it is me, Jack, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.